All right, we're going to talk about the mole flow chart. Are you ready? All right, objectives, pause it, peruse it. All right, so remember these things again. A mole is a counting unit. You find it on table D. It stands for the amount of a substance. Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It means the number of particles in one mole. Molar mass, that's what we call the mass of one mole of a substance. We can also call it formula mass or gram formula mass. And the units are grams per mole. And one mole of a gas at STP, so standard temperature and pressure. So standard temperature, zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin, and standard pressure, uh, one atmosphere or 101.3 kPa. You don't have to memorize it, it's in table A. Okay, standard temperature and pressure. But anyway, one mole of a gas at STP is exactly 22.4 liters. All right, so what is the mole flow chart? Well, quite frankly, it's my gift to you. Looks like this. So you have a paper version, which same thing, looks like this. Well, easier to see right here. Look at all this information. It's going to allow us to do a lot of things in this unit, but we're going to start smaller. So uh, you also have some printed conversion factors. So they're double-sided, which will allow you to kind of flip them around, work with them, see what you need in order to do the conversions. So right now we're going to focus on one side. So we're just going to look at one half. Okay, so quite frankly, it doesn't matter what half you look at. I'm just going to use the A side. You have to work step by step, arrow by arrow. So what does that mean? If you're given, for example, this, in one step, you cannot go here. You have to go from here to here, then from here to here. So you can imagine, um, now I'll just switch the color, if we're given this, we can get here, but we'd have to go here, one step, then here, two steps, then here, three steps, then here, four steps, okay? So, but this will allow you to kind of visually see what you're doing. So, let's practice. So, what is the total number of neon atoms contained in 20.2 grams of neon gas? So. I'm given a mass. I put it over one. We're doing dimensional analysis. I need to get to moles first because ultimately I want to get here. The number of atoms, that's particles, but again, I can't skip a step, so I got to go to moles first. So in order to go from grams to moles, I need the formula from table T, so I need the molar mass or gram formula mass. So I divide the given mass by the gram formula mass. Now I write it like this because this is grams per mole and moles then goes on top. That would allow me to cancel that out. But I still need to get to particles. So the conversion factor for that is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms divided by one mole. Now why do I know it was that way instead of flipped? because I need to be able to do that, cancel out moles. So what do I do now? I multiply what's on the top, and then I'm going to divide by what's on the bottom. And so I multiply across the top, divide by what's on the bottom, I got that. But what could you have realized? Well, as soon as you looked at the gram formula mass, the molar mass, of neon. It was the same as what was in the problem. So that means this is the number of grams for one mole, and one mole has this number of particles. But here's what I find, is that sometimes on exams or tests, students are like, ah, stressed, and you just do the math. It's okay. You just did a little bit more work than you needed to. But that's okay. 
All right, so what's the total number of moles in 80 grams of C2H5Cl? So I start with mass, I need to get to moles. So I write down what I'm given. I need to get to moles. And that's just one step, beautiful. It gave me the gram formula mass, so I don't even have to do the math. So all I do is divide those numbers. And I get this, but I'm gonna look at significant figures. I just need three, so there you go. Okay, let's try a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna branch off of one side, cross to the other side. Let's see what, let's see how it goes. So what is the total number of nitrogen atoms in 0 0.25 moles of NO2 gas? So I have moles of NO2 gas. That's what I'm given. But it's asking me about nitrogen atoms. So what I need to do is I need to convert nitrogen um, dioxide to nitrogen atoms. So from the formula for NO2, I can see that in every mole of NO2, there's one mole of N. The subscript is just one. So that allows me to cross that out. I'm over now. Now I need to get to atoms. Can I get to particles right away? Yes, I can. So I write the, it like this. That cancels out. Everything on the bottom is one, so I can just multiply across the top. I get this, and it is an answer choice. It's always a good sign when what you get is an answer choice. Sometimes this there is a trick, but not in this case. So we're going to be doing a lot more practice. I hope you learned something new today.